Hey, what's up guys? Fly with Clayton here for a brand new video. I know it's been a hot minute since I've made some videos, but I've been extremely busy working as a CFI after I passed my CFI check ride and also studying for my CFII check ride coming up. That's actually why you guys are watching this video today. Today, you're gonna see a cool video of me going up with my instructor, Errol, and we are just practicing some approaches for my CFII training. I didn't do a ton of teaching in this episode, mainly because I just wanted to get back in the flow of shooting some approaches because I hadn't done it in a while but i still think this is a great video with some really cool right seat footage just kind of showing us shooting an rnav approach as well as an ils approach with a partial panel on that rnav approach so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did be sure to drop a like i'll be kind of interjecting and explaining some stuff going on in the video but again thank you guys so much for watching let's jump right into it here we go out to pickens pickens is 230 perfect We'll go out with Pickens and we could uh, do the RNAV for runway 23 and uh, could do the procedure turn. Green or hold and move uh, the procedure turn. Alpha, and then continue the inbound, you can fail the G5. Uh, into the south we'll uh, do partial panel. That works for you. Number 737 with Ski Alpha, taxi via Golf, South Road. Taxi via Golf, and right, quick pre takeoff. 737 with Ski Alpha. Flaps are up, make sure it's best power. And are we cleared across uh, 1028, 737 with Ski Alpha? Number 737 with Ski Alpha, cross 1028. All right, Let's we'll push if we have any engine issues, if we are still on the runway, we'll pull power, come to a complete stop. If we get airborne, have runway remaining, we'll pull power, come back and land on the runway. If we get 700, if we are under 700 feet, we're going to pitch for best glide. If we don't have runway remaining, probably end up on Lawrence Road. If we get above 700 feet, we're going to make a turn back for the airport. Welcome back, Mooney. Um, any questions, sir? No, sounds good. I always wonder about the altitude as well. I mean, you know, above 700, below 700. Some people do 500, I do 700. But I mean, why, why wouldn't you kind of like maybe if you're below... Maybe even a couple hundred, because 500 feet is quite high. 500 is high? Well, even 700 is quite high. 500 is high. Five. I mean, when you're, when we're, at, you know, you're not going to have runway remaining. My, my fear is putting it into a stall in that impossible turn. Yeah. That's why I say 700. I'd rather put the, or have the safety of just landing ahead on the road, as opposed to uh, trying to attempt the impossible turn. Yeah. That's my philosophy, but. Strobe's coming on, lane light coming on. <laughs> Heading bugs out to the west until we get up to Pickens. I'll go ahead and hit uh, Pickens on our thing. Doors and windows lock. I'll lock the window here in a minute. It's summer. Leaving it open a little bit longer. Greenville Tower, Mooney, November 353, clear of runway 19. Uh, okay to taxi to self ramp. Pickens frequency is on standby. 23 at X ray taxi delta south ramp. Thank you. Taxi to self ramp 353 at X ray. Direct to Pickens, and we'll go ahead and load the procedure. I think one night charge is ready on 19. Approach, RNAV 2-3, we'll say Xerxes for our approach fix. Number 618, Charlie Juliet, runway 100, clear for takeoff. And clear for takeoff, runway 1-9, 618, Charlie Juliet. So we'll just go direct to the initial approach fix, is that a cocoon? Where is that? Oh yeah. So we're going to go here, back up to the northwest is where we're going? They like it if we go out of the airspace and then turn north. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, That's right, when we went up there that time. That's what they said yeah. they like. Do you know, I, I've, I've well since then I've started to do that as well, only since then, but it is... In some ways, eh, it feels like a pain, but yeah, it is easier just to get out this, get out there here. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, just. Greenville Tower, Sky 4927 Delta, holding short of 19 Alpha 8, ready for departure. November 4927 Delta, Greenville Tower, runway 19, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 19, 4927 Delta. <laughs> I thought you were going to leave it in. Oh, field flight like controls. Greenville Tower, flight like controls. Five right. Romeo Bravo. Send to the west and bound for land then with X ray. Okay, we've been cleared to take off as well. Uh, final is clear. Is there 475 Romeo Bravo Greenwood downtown? Is that we got in our debrief. Say your type again? Airplane. He's an airplane, yeah. Airplane. Um, nine to the west. Hyper <laughs> <Five aircraft. laughs> That's a Mooney M20R. Oh, people. All right, line up center line, heels to the floor. Full I'm coming to the power, coming to full. November 475, Romeo Bravo, runway 19. Airspeed's live, gauge is in the green. Enter the midfield, right? Gonna rotate at 60 because it's hot. We'll let the midfield downwind yeah. for 19. Right, right, right. Bravo. November 5, Romeo Bravo, squawk 0140. There we go. Whee! 0140, 475, Romeo Bravo. I'm at 73. November 66, Papa, clear to land, runway 19. Clear to land, runway 19, Cessna 66, Papa. November 27, Delta, depart southwest bound. Southwest bound, 27 Delta. All right, your flight controls real quick, sir. 
Uh, right. the foggles on. Airplane controls. Your flight controls. Foggles coming on. Oh no, we have entered IMC. My flight controls. Your flight controls. All right, sir. So here we are. We have just entered IMC. So I am under the foggles. You will work as PIC to observe traffic for me. What I'm doing here is I am keeping a constant scan of our instruments. As an instrument pilot, we yep. need to keep a constant scan, bouncing back and forward, looking at our different things, looking at our attitude indicator, bouncing to our altitude, bouncing back to it, our excuse me, our attitude indicator. I can't even talk. And then our airspeed down to our heading indicator. Just keep that scan bouncing back and forward, going back and referencing our attitude indicator, so we get a good indication of what the plane is doing. We have primary instruments, and then we have supporting instruments. These primary ind indications can give us a direct indication of what we're doing, and then those supporting instruments can also support what we're seeing. I'm watching the ADSB2. I'm going to level off at 2,500 here. She's still wanting to climb. Wow. Clear the land, runway 19, 475 Romeo Bravo. I know. What if I open my window? I can create drag. Oh, okay, then. Hot. <laughs> Here, I, I, I mean, oh wow, it's actually it's actually, actually working. Uh, I'll put my hand out. See? Oh no, we're climbing again. I'm using force my hand. So this is a great example, students. I feel like we are descending right now. Well, we actually kind of are. But for a second there, we were leveled off, and I felt like we were drastically descending. But my end in. Indications on my instruments were showing that we were not. Oh. So always rely on them instruments. Don't trust your body feelings. All right, you, you can't be playing with my alternate static like that. You're you oh. throwing off my <laughs> vertical speed. Find the way it's done. Are you just that student that just presses buttons for the heck of pressing buttons? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we are clear. Of their airspace coming in on what you call Pickens are. are here, we'll listen to Pickens weather. Pickens County yeah, Airport. Yeah, they changed to Liberty? Automated weather observation. One, seven, four, three. Zulu weather. Wind, two, one, zero, at Niner. Visibility, one, zero, clear, below, one, two, thousand. Temperature, three, one, Celsius. Dew point, two, two. Altimeter, two, Niner, Niner, three. Remarks. Density altitude, three, thousand. All right, so what I'm doing, I'm going to climb us up to, I think it's 3,000 of what this, this approach technically starts at. What's the uh, on-f? Uh, 4,000. We'll 4, 4, hit 4,000. Yeah. So we'll climb up to 4,000, and then we'll head northbound. Plus, I see there's a plane coming over easily on the ADSB, so we'll get over him. Yeah. Oh, assuming there's packs at 800 feet. While we're here, too, we'll also go procedure uh, approach. r 23 going to Yakud. Load and activate. All right, when we turn, we have a uh, standard rate turn indicated by the green dots on the attitude indicator or by our turn coordinator over there showing us a standard rate turn. So what if I lose this guy? What's my primary then? For what are you at? Primary for what? Just your attitude? If I lose my attitude. Well, we can use our alti altimeter to indicate whether we are climbing or descending. We can okay. also take a look at our vertical speed or our airspeed indicator. Because if we're descending, we're going to be picking up speed. Yeah. If we're climbing, we're probably going to be losing speed as well. Okay. So let me ask you, if we lose our heading indicator, what could we use to determine what direction we're heading? If we lose our heading indicator, I'm yeah. going to cheat. Aha! Ah, we can cheat. It does show up there on the second G5. We can also use the attitude indicator just to show if we're banking, but we can also use our compass. Just remembering that we have compass indication errors depending on what direction we're heading. There it is. For this that direction, too. steer okay. this direction. Okay. Yep. But yeah, we got this as well for banking. But and turn uh, coordinator as well, very good. Yeah, but uh, this really doesn't show our pitch on here. The only thing we have for pitch then is, yeah, really this guy on here. Well, we got this guy down here as well. But yes, bam, bam, and yeah, the speed as well. Primary, I think, though, would be a primary. I think it would be the altitude. Altimeter. Yeah, uh, altimeter, sorry. <laughs> altitude, but yeah. If we block the pedos, then that definitely would be an altitude. Uh, altitude SB, yeah. Yep. All right, we're leveling off at 4,000 here. 4,000 feet level. Uh, we'll if we pull up our approach chart. We should be at 4,000 into Yakud, and once we are established on Yakud inbound, after we pass Yakud, we can send down to 3,300. Aircraft passing below us, I see. Traffic is tight, very good. All right, so the way we are approaching this procedure right now, it looks like we are perfectly set up to make a nice teardrop. So, I'll go ahead and set in our heading indicator outbound. 228 is our inbound, so the opposite of 228. Uh, what was that roughly going to be like? 
Uh, roughly 3-8. So the outbound heading is going to be roughly 3-8, but what we're going to do is we're going to do a teardrop. So we want 30 degrees off of that outbound crossing over Yakut. And what that will allow us is then we'll travel a minute outbound and then turn in a standard rate turn to essentially come direct into Yakut and we'll uh, enter that. Are we sure we're doing a minute outbound? Is it a minute outbound? I don't know. Is it? Is it what kind of approach is it? Aren't have, isn't it? So yeah. Is it time or distance? Is it distance? I'm asking you. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this is why we're doing this. I haven't done this in a hot minute. Yes, yeah, so GPS ones are distance. They're distance. It should be four miles, so that's one. So one. four miles outbound. Uh, what do we say on there? Oh, do you know what? That's kind of weird. Oh, there it is there. Look on your profile view. Four miles, there it is. Uh, oh, and even gives us that in. It's four eight, so that means we would be a one eight heading, 30 degrees a outbound thing with Jeff's doing all that work for us. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful. Drifting, so I'm going to bring this back over. I'm going to stay on our heading. There we go. Not getting sidetracked. Yep, the GPS are by distance. Four miles, sometimes they could be five miles. Um... It's, um, yeah, and flying outbound as well, so once we cross over Yakud as well, 048, so I mean taking 30 degrees off. I know you're kind of entirely doing that as well, because that wouldn't line up correctly with our distance. Okay. So, I go a little bit less, sometimes roughly, I've kind of roughly gone about 20 degrees, so is about what I've 20. Gone. Okay. Yeah, because I mean... You you're going to stay within the threshold regardless. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, that one is set bang on 30 degrees to have you fly out a specific angle, um, 30 degree offset as well for one minute, then turn um, uh, turn outbound uh -huh. for one minute. And after that one minute's done, then you make your turn back to come back in if it's a localizer, ILS, or whatever approach. Yeah. But on this one, I've, I've, it's it's never really kind of worked out like that. I've always roughly about a 20, 25 degree. Now, I don't know if that's correct. Also, another thing to consider is these Garmin GPSs is probably going to give us the proper entry, yeah. and it's probably going to give us a heading it to is. do it here, so we can also kind of reference that. What are we? We're now, well, this is going to be this is going to be a teardrop. Yeah, it's a teardrop, teardrop. isn't it? Yes. And visually looking around, I don't see any traffic or anything, or anyone else anywhere. Roger. We're two miles from uh, Yakud. Going back to the fish finder here as well. Yeah, no one around us on the fish finder. Sorry, there we go. Oh, fuck a duck. <laughs> yeah, there, there we go, sorry. Oh, look, it even has it on there as well. Four miles. Four miles. Oh, yeah, it does. Sorry, sorry, to the north. Back a little, we're just a little right, of course. I'm only a tenth of a mile. I'm just going to slowly bring us back over. Making sure my GoPro's over there are still recording. Okay, that's the submarine sound. Hopefully this submarine doesn't crash, though. <laughs> Not too soon. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I, someone sent me something the other day with the flex seal on there. <laughs> and, like, you know, the guy holding flex seal pointing at the south. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like, oh, bye. All right, here we go. We're about to enter our teardrop. Yeah. That should give us a turn here in a minute. We're at half uh, a mile. Woo. Should get right to three, zero, 036 three, here in four, five seconds. All right, so we're going to do a right turn to... 036, and it's going to be a standard rate turn. So it's like roughly 10 degrees then off, off is what it is. 036 from 048. So uh, 036. Okay. Oh, is that giving us a parallel entry? 12 degrees. Um, no, it's not. Because there's 036 right there. And we'll fly out four miles. So yeah, it looks like a 12 degree difference is yeah, what it looks like from the 048 as opposed to that full 30. It's probably just because of the four miles. It's going to yeah. take us out enough to get us lined up for a I mean, the main thing is we're in. staying on what side? The protected side. The protected side, yeah. exactly. And when you get into the, you know, the big wide world as well, um, you know, with with the faster aircraft, high up at altitude as well, 80s, you don't give a shit how you get into it. Yeah. Well, as long get, as you're staying within the protected area and yeah. you're doing what radial they told you to. Yeah. All right, so we keep going out as well. Four miles. Uh, where are we? Well, it's probably count two point four right now. It's counting. Is it counting now? Count up. Okay. That's counting up for us. So roughly about three and a half miles is where it's going to have you do that standard rate turn, come back in. We're going to intercept the inbound course, which would be two two eight, uh, which will maintain that's into your card, which is our IAF okay, and yeah, IF yeah, initial approach fix. So you can begin the approach there, which is what we've done. Uh, why is it got an IF as well? What's the initial fix? Versus, initial fix versus initial approach fix, and typically. Where do you kind of see them? 
typically. Where do you see them? Yeah. They're typically on the final approach course, mm, yeah. but you can also have some that are a little bit further out, like you got you can. Zerzi and Helev over here. Yep, you can, but yeah. Normally they do, they do typically line up yeah, with the inbound course. There we go, right turn to 231 in eight seconds. Still good on traffic, don't see anybody around us. So initial fix, is that also known as the intermediate fix as well? Uh, yes? <laughs> Standard rate 10. Ah, altimeter's a little off compared to the one on the oh. G5. Looks like it, GPS pretty much nailed it. We're pretty much almost coming directly on on course, yeah. On the inbound course. Now we're about a tenth of a mile off. I'm bring it over to the left a little bit. And once we pr pr cross over Yakud, which is another 3.9 miles, then we can descend down to 3,300. Right here. Why is that getting frisky? Oh, it's probably All right, well. quick little Mr. Per or, uh, approach briefing because we really didn't do that. AWOS is 120.0. We've already got the weather. Yep. Rear approach is 18.8. We aren't talking to them right now because we're doing this by ourselves. Atlanta approach, or Atlanta center, 134.8. Also don't need to really talk to them. DTF is 122.8, which we are on. We'll make a call here in a little bit how far out we are. This approach will climb 3,000 direct to Zakub and hold. I think it's pretty much a straight shot out. Yep, all the way up to uh, Zakub. Okay. Uh, two, three seconds. Uh, we also have some different minimums here, it looks like, if we have any inoperative equipment. Good, we are on an LPV approach, which means minimums are 1,310. Uh, anything, anything I'm missing here, anything? Okay, let's see, we got here. Um, so we looked at that as well, we in Bounty Yaku, yep, we've gone through that where we kind of descend down to uh, 3,300 Kurum. And then we're in a final uh, FAF, uh, which will have the aircraft configured. Yep. And then we could use Zisco as well, uh, but it doesn't apply to us. As you said, we're doing the LPV approach. Yeah, yep. Um, and then we're going to go down to our minimums yeah, of, yeah, 1,310. I suppose if you want, we could maybe go ahead and... Just bug it. Yeah, we could go ahead and bug that guy. Uh, come on now, 1,000. Well, there's no 1,310, so... Oh, well, cock. We'll go with 1,300 then. Pickens County traffic, sky oh, Niner, safety, let's go 1,400. We suspend to continue inbound, right? Uh, but, 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 or unsuspend. I that's that's going to be for our missed, I think. I think it's unsuspend. Yep. Yeah, unsuspend is where you continue inbound. Yeah. Pickens traffic, I always get those two confused. All right, I've also got a Henny Bug spin up on there as well. Yep. Good little practice. Half a mile in to, from Iku to Kurdom. And we are now still Yakut. Shelby traffic, uh, we, 270 Alpha has departed to the northeast west call. Shelby traffic. All right, we have just crossed over Yakut into Kiram, so we can now okay. descend down to 3,300. Yeah, now, yep, Kiram inbound. Oh, inbound the Kiram, sorry. Next out to Looks like we're about 12, 12 miles out. Yeah, roughly that sounds good. Pickens County traffic, Scott 4927 Delta is about a 12 mile final on the RNAV for runway 23, Pickens traffic. Still tracking inbound, looking good, keeping it nice and centered with our track, descending, got a little bit high rate of descent, add just a little bit of power in. Pickens County traffic, Scott 912 Julia Romeo is up with runway 23, going to be making lot of traffic, Pickens. Now we've got a heading back up on there, just in the event if anything happens on here, at least we have the bug on there, so something else, and just another reference of using all uh, available resources to keep on that 228, uh, which we're going inbound here. 500 foot per minute as we stabilize our descent, and we have our, where are we, 2.6 miles to go. Yep. So. Once we cross Chrome, we can descend down to 2,600. Sounds good. Come on, baby. He's went, uh, the heat rising, not getting a stable descent, just <laughs> leveling off every couple of minutes, or every couple of seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I caught my legs off. Ah, there we go. Ah. Shall we try to get up Alpha 7? Drift a little bit to the right, so bring us back around. There we go. Correction, southeast of the field for 8 Alpha. Kirim, I see Kirim on there is going to put us... 8.7 miles is that Kirim. 
You want to fail my uh, G5 at Kurum? Oh no, we're level at 3,300 here though. He's taking a shit. Oh no. I've lost a G5. It took a shit. All right, so we got our backup instruments for airspeed over there. We still got our heading and we got our altitude on the right. We can also reference our track over here as well. Cool. All right, we yeah. have just crossed, or we're about to cross over. Next one, we're holding at 3,300. Okay, 3,000. A little bit right, of course, bring us back around to the right. There we go. Half a mile to go till we can send down to 2,600. Sounds good. Point to the three, right. Yep. There we go. Taking traffic. Traffic on the RNAV. Where you at? Nine and a half miles. Only about four miles northwest of the airport. Um, we'll be departing back to Greenville. So no one's accepting it. Taking scan traffic. Uh, we are just crossing over Curum. It's about uh, eight to ten miles uh, on the RNAV runway two three. Taking traffic. Taking sky traffic, Jock 912, Julia Romeo is turning on the left base, runway 23. Alright, sending down 2600. Okay. 500 foot per minute descent, nice and stable. There we go. Traffic, a little bit more speed. Looks like we've already got our glide path uh, coming down though, which is super nice. We can send down, keep going down 2600. Oh, okay, now you're just not fair. <laughs> That's just not fair. <laughs> we get to, uh, we're in, we'll be at about 4.8 mile final. Okay. And it says it on here, where it is, yep, 4.8, that's correct. Take traffic down at 5 Delta Alpha, base final one way. Okay, so we are now roughly four, so we're six and a half miles out, roughly. Final for two, three, six. And we're flying out. Taking scan traffic, Scott, 4927 Delta is about six mile final, runway 23 on the RNAV approach. Pick us traffic. All right, looking good. We're a little right of path, but not bad. Speed looks good as well. Maintain that speed there. Just kind of keeping it there as well. So we're not so far away of having to drastically slow down, get into the arc range as well. Yeah, a little uh, bit. Flaps down. A little bit high on our uh, center right there. Yeah, so good thing about it. We can bring the pad back and just hold our altitude. We'll yep. Hold it, but I mean, that will help slow us down. Okay, where are we? Oh, yes. Drifting just a little bit to the right. A little okay, bit. So bring us back to the left. coming down. <laughs> 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 you are stuck in jet world. Stuck. Uh, we got uh, strip green. We good. Strip green. Strip green. Do you see traffic up ahead in the pattern? Or are we good so far? Uh, I didn't see anyone. Still looking at the heads. We're level at 2600, by the way. We're going to hold here until we get to Warren. Then we'll be tracking the glide path down. No, I'm, I'm just going to switch on my ADSB. In my bag. You can connect to mine if you need to. Oh, you got it on? Yeah, it's on. Oh. Uh, Pickens guy okay, traffic, got 4927 Delta, it's about a five mile final on the RNAP run runway 23, Pickens. Alright, glide path is, con is, we have just met our glide path. Power's coming back, we're in the white arc. Extra full rich. Drifting a little bit to the right here. First notch flaps. Okay, speed checks and yep, first notch flaps. Come down. Run our power back way too much on that one, that's fine. And we are now Zisco inbound, 1860 is our next altitude. Taking traffic stock, 912 Juliet Romeo is clear, runway 23, taxiing back. Drifting a little left, or right, excuse me. Oh. Now we're going to, we have not got a fellow 1860, but we can use it as a as a reference, I suppose. But it then doesn't apply to us. We're not doing an LNAV approach, so uh, no concern for us at all. Minimums are 1310, and we're looking good. We're nice and stable. We've got our flaps in the 10. Strip green indicated. Still good. Traffic uh, 778 Alpha Alpha, six miles southeast of the field, South Moss Lake, four thousand maneuver trip. Tacoa traffic, three, King Air 3 Mike Hotel, five miles straight in, runway 21 Tacoa. Pickens Sky traffic, Sky 4927 Delta, about three mile final, runway 23 RNAV, uh, touch and go. Pickens. A little high, I'll pull a little more power out. Well, if you look at where your path is on there. Yeah, there's a little above it, not much. 
All right, we're good. Glide path is alive and, uh, well, course alive and glide path is alive. There we it go. Was, it was really alive back there, but <laughs> I missed that call out. Got back right back on it, looking pretty good. It's a little high, but not bad. We're still tracking it inbound, we're pretty uh, much right on. Haven't got to worry about traffic. Any traffic we have is 12 o'clock, we're there at 31,900 feet, so it should be no factor. After that. I think I see his comfort trails. Those chemtrails. Alright, a little bit right of course. Badger. Small adjustments. Two and a half. Yep. Two, two, five. Five. Barely that. There we go. Yeah, get it back yep. in. Turn it back on now. There we go. That is looking good. No other traffic, only traffic on the taxiway, which I see, but no factor. Us a Sky traffic, Sky 4927 Delta, two, and a half mile, two mile final, runway 23, RNAV, touch and go, Pickens. Pickens County traffic, Skyhawk 912, Juliet Romeo's holding short, runway 23, Pickens. Now a little bit to the left, so I'm bringing it just a little bit to the right, there we go. Speed and everything looks good, almost two minimums. Yep, slightly go right, we are left of course. Okay. Increase the power just a tiny bit as well, just to catch that glide path. Yep, just to get right back yep. up to it. Don't need a lot, just a small yep, amount. There, there we, go. we go. Bring it right back. There's a bit of power, just kind of helps us to maintain our motion going forward as well, and just we had enough speed mm -hmm. that we could exchange in. There we go. As we're coming in, we are now. One mile to the runway. Yep. Looking good, maybe just a little high, but not bad. Tiny bit to the left. Yep, tiny just tiny a tiny, bit. tiny, tiny bit. bit. Speed checks, looks good. Alright, minimums. Minimums. Yeah, we're trying to get minimums. Out not too bad. Miles east of the field. Uh, 4,000, maybe. Yeah, so they get your path back there, you go. Yeah. Oh, shit. Almost like, I feel like that almost brings us down a little bit lower than I thought. <sighs> Take a notch flaps for a normal landing. Uh, yeah, from the inside. Uh, VDP, if we had to calculate VDP, we would take basically the altitude of the lowest approach on there, times it by 300, or divided by 300, and then uh, that would give us our distance to that VDP. Voila! Voila! We're pretty much stable, we're talking straight down the runway. Straight down the pipe. Gotta Good. grease it, gotta grease it, gotta grease it, gotta grease it, power idle. You and your 9-2 Juliet Romeo. Looking good as it comes down, keep that nose up. Maybe a tiny bit of power, tiny bit, very, very small amount of power. Oh, we don't need that power. Yeah. See? Oh, we, we don't go. need it. We don't need it. We don't need it! Flaps are up. Just the floor, positive or positive control. Powerful. Power good. Oh, it feels so good on the arm. 60. Rotate. Alright, getting my G5 back. <laughs> Not too bad for a partial panel. Yeah. I'll take it. It wasn't horrible. We'll I take mean, it. It was just small corrections. Was there anything unstable? No, yeah. It wasn't. Um, Especially for not having done that in a hot minute and first time doing it in Cessna. Yeah. I'll we'll take it. All right. Foggles coming back on. We'll pop it back out. Pickens County traffic. Skyhawk 9012. Juliet Romeo is lining up and it's going to be the runway 23. Pickens Sky Traffic, Sky 4927 Delta is on the go, runway 23 will be departing the area to the south, Pickens Traffic. Alright, uh, on Anderson? Okay, uh, cool that. Anderson, yep, yeah, let's go. On to the next one. ILS well, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'm probably going to upload the ILS approach into Anderson, which is a circle to land as a separate video because this is already super long. But if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I always welcome your guys' feedback. And if any of you are CFII's and you have any advice for the CFII checkride, I'd love to hear that as well. So be sure to leave those comments in the comments down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.